morning. Welcome to Morning Moments. I'm so glad that you took the time to join us, no matter what platform you're seeing Morning Moments on. Uh, we're releasing this interview on the 16th of August, and so it's a special day for our guest, and he'll tell you about this. He's an executive producer, author. He's is well known in the industry of of, of uh, writing and and the film industry. Rick Aldridge, welcome to to Morning Moments, Rich. Hey, great. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Great to be with you. Appreciate it. I, I ask everybody the same question. I'm sure you're going to talk us talk about. It. I wish you would the mulligan, but uh, I ask everybody, what do you do and why do you do it? <laughs> well, uh, I think more than anything, you can put whatever title you want to put on it. Uh, I'm a storyteller. You know, I uh, uh, I love the opportunity to to use story to uh, you know inspire, to entertain, to challenge, to uh, uh, to basically just. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully affect uh, change in people's lives. Uh, we, uh, people ask, what kind of stories do you tell? All kinds, you know, if it's a sports story or a dramatic story or, or whatever it happens to, I've even done a horror story before. But uh, I, I, the, the idea uh, and that undergirds everything that I try to do is uh, to tell stories that, uh, that can be first entertaining, that can win the right to be heard. If it's not a good story, then we're not gonna listen, <laughs> you know? Uh, and I do that through uh, the medium of film. Uh, and uh, I really characterize a lot of what I do uh, from what Jesus did with parables in, in the Bible. Uh, he was a storyteller. And uh, I know many times people would come up and they would try to cap, you know, catch him or capture him in a bad moment or try to you know, get him twisted with something. And they would ask him a hard question or an you know, inquisitive question or whatever it happened to be thinking they were pretty smart. And many times Jesus would look at him and he'd start telling a story. And uh, the story didn't really maybe even relate with the question at the time. But by the time he gets halfway through the story, the guy listening says, wait a minute, he's, he's talking about me. <laughs> and, and it identified, but that's many ways the way Jesus communicated. And I think in today's media world, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're affected by by stories, and so uh, God's given me the privilege, the uh, the opportunity to tell stories uh, uh, on multiple platforms that uh, that can hopefully uh, make a difference. And that's that's what I try to shepherd and steward every day. What, what's the Mulligan? Tell us about that. Mulligan is uh, a movie based on a book by Ken Blanchard and Wally Armstrong. Uh, Ken Blanchard, you may know from the one minute manager books, which sold a gazillion copies. Uh, Ken has been kind of a business guru for the last 30 years. And uh, then Wally Armstrong is a PGA touring pro for 20 years. And uh, so the two of them got together and uh, you know, Ken was fascinated about the idea of telling a story around the game of golf about the game of life. And uh, so they came together and wrote this book and uh, in the book, it's basically a conversation between the corporate man, which is Paul, and the old pro, which is the, the, the golf pro. And, uh, and, and it's about mulligans, about second chances, about do-overs, about forgiveness, about grace. And um, we've got this corporate executive who thinks he's got a, a lot of stuff together. He's got a great business. He has, he's looking good, feeling good about himself. But when you dig just under the surface, you find, you know, he's got a problem with his wife. Uh, they're, they're divorcing. His kid hates him. Uh, he's got a, a, just a lot of issues going on uh, underneath that uh, he needs a mulligan. He needs a, a second chance. And, uh, you know, who doesn't? We all need second chances. So uh, this story is a story of second chances. I call it a parable of second chances. And uh, we took the, the film and, and, and developed the relationship with the father-son. We, we showed uh, the, uh, the connection there. We developed the relationship he had with his wife. We developed the, the business structure that he was involved with internationally. And, and then around that, we told the story of the old pro and his uh, connection and influence on, on uh, corporate man, Paul. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love the thoughts that you said when Jesus told stories 
and uh, you know, it's when you when you when it's done well, and I I really think it's great to do 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 a story well, like you said, worth watching. When it's done well, and people walk away expecting to be entertained, and then really get ministered to in their spirit, right? Yep, that's that's what we hope. I think you you have to do it at a level that wins the right to be heard. And, uh, and, and that, that, you know, in, in our world today is, is a pretty high bar and it continues to, to be a high bar, but, uh, and in the, in the, in the media space, especially, uh, I think we try to do that. And then, uh, inside of that, uh, we want to entertain, we want to be able to laugh. We want to be able to identify with characters, identify with subject matter. Uh, but we also want to make sure that, uh, that in everything that takes place in the process of that, that that there's a very natural influence of, of God and, and the relationship that he has with each of us. We're driven by that great commission, aren't we? Uh, absolutely. Yep. No matter what we do. That's absolutely true. You know, and uh, God's placed me in this space. Uh, you know, I know you ask everybody, what do you do and why do you do it? Uh, you know, God's placed me here. And, uh, you know, I think it's a, a, a very uh, big responsibility uh, to to shepherd that properly and and uh, you know we we take that very seriously and in, in the stories that we tell even in selecting the kind of stories that we tell uh, I get a dozen scripts a week and you know most of them some of them are pretty good you know some of them maybe not so much and then others they're just not what I need to be doing or they're they're not something I resonate with but uh, you know we really pray over and look to to uh, every every aspect of, of storytelling and, and uh, where, you know, where can we best be used with our gifts to, to, uh, to tell that story with all those criteria that we put in place. You know, I, I've interviewed several people uh, in the, in the film industry, especially the faith-based industry. And I'm just amazed how the collaboration working together yeah. the actors, the writers, the lighting, the everything, the editing and everything that comes together and how that really parallels to our Christian walk. Yep. We, we're not in this alone, and uh, we need well, yeah. each other in our Christian walk as well. We really do. It's a, it, it's a team sport, you know, and uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like anything. I mean, I can have a great story, but it's going to take an army to tell it, you know, in the way that we tell it today with media. And, uh, you, know, I, I'm, you know, I'm not a camera guy. You know, I could probably turn one on and point it in the right direction. It might not be in focus. Uh, but, you know, I, I know great guys that can. And, uh, you know, I think in every level, you, you have to bring people together. And it is a collaborative effort. And I, I tell people that every day when we're on set uh, to respect the, uh, the, the gifts that God's given each and every one that's there because they all have a place. They all have a purpose and uh, very, very needed. You know, those, those hundreds and hundreds of names you see going across the screen at the end of a movie uh they all had a part in making what happened happen and and every one of them had a special gift that made that happen some of them are maybe just entry level you know interns or uh, uh, personal assistants or or whatever but uh you know they brought something to a purpose and something to a place there in that process that was very meaningful and very helpful and in, in getting it done you know even if it was uh, go and be, go and get me something to drink when I, so I could keep going for the next hour because I needed a cup of coffee or, or which we do have a Starbucks run almost every movie every every afternoon we got to have our Starbucks run, but uh, you know that's important and, and all those guys have a place and uh, uh, at every level. What well, what would you say to the person watching this interview that may even not may not even be in the film industry, that's asking how do I find my purpose? Well, I think it's uh, you know it's very important that, uh, that we look at where God has us today. Uh, you know, I find, you know, I, I started off in the music, you know, world as a musician and a singer and, uh, and, and, you know, there's multiple stages that you get. It's a great example, I think, because, you know, you'll see someone like uh, a Garth Brooks who sung in my town last week to a stadium of 70,000 people, you know, that's big. Uh, and, and then you also see the guy that's sitting in a little coffee shop on his guitar in the corner playing and, and then somebody that's maybe just doing it for a little life group that's a group of kids having a little, you know, Bible study time. But whatever it is, you know, 
God's given you a gift, maybe of playing a guitar, of singing a song, and he's put you in a place uh, where you can be used uh, at that moment in that time. And I think that's being faithful, you know, in the things that God has given you. And, and I think as we look in, in, inside of us and see, you know, we all have gifts. We all have things that we can do to make a difference. Uh, it's not all filmmaking. It's not all guitar playing. But uh, whatever it happens to be, to, to, to be the best we can be in those areas, and then God will expand our borders. And, uh, you know, we may never be in front of that 70,000 people in that stadium like a Garth Brooks, but, uh, you know, we'll never know the amount of people that we're able to touch and influence uh, because of where we are and what we do today. So it, it doesn't mean we have to go somewhere. We have to, I've got to get here and do that. It's just, you know, uh, it's, it's that whole bloom where you're planted. Be used where yeah. God has you today. Be faithful in that and, and let him expand those borders naturally. And, uh, and, and that's, that's where it happens. That's what I tell people all the time. I think it's, it's really important to understand that. And, you know, I know the times in my life when I tried to beat doors down, I, I usually wound up either flat on my face or there was a brick wall behind that door. Uh, but the times that I've let God lead and direct and guide what I had to do were always really, really special times. And, and, and I didn't have to take all the credit. I could say, look what happened because of all of these people and all of this stuff that God put into place. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I, I'd like, I'd like you, I'm going to put down below the links of, of, uh, of Rich, what he's done, what he's going to do. Also, the release of the Mulligan in in the uh, uh, today, and it's going to be yeah. released today for. I believe it's for. Uh, it's uh, what you release today is. Oh, it's for, a video, a video demand. It'll be video DVD. demand. Uh, you know, we we did the theatrical back in April, and uh, we we did a a very purposeful two day you know fathom type event, very successful. We packed theaters across America. Right. Uh, and, and that was all great. But then, you know, we've got all everybody that emails and texts and sends, when can I see the movie? I missed yeah. it. I couldn't go see it there. Right. And so we're very excited about today, about the 16th of August, when I can say you can catch it anywhere. Go to Amazon Prime, uh, you know, go to Walmart, you know, uh, you know, go to your your Christian, you know, Pure Flix. Uh, what, there are multiple places you have to pick up the movie and it's everywhere. So a uh, very exciting day for us. Absolutely. Well, I want I want my audience to be praying. For, uh, keep you keep, watch what you're doing. Look at those links, but also be praying for for Rich that God would continue to bless him, continue to guide him in the next feature that he's supposed to do, the next movie, uh, short or long, whatever the movie God's got for him. But uh, that he'll put the right people in the right place at the right time to give the message. You know, God said, go into all the world and preach yeah. the gospel. And I always say that two thirds of God's name is go. And so we're <laughs> supposed to be going, but it doesn't mean that we have to go halfway around the world, go into your world, whatever right. your world is, is your world filmmaking, is your world in your cul-de-sac, is your world just in serving in your church, go and serve what God has call, called you to do and allowed you to be at the right place at the right time. Rich, yeah. thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for helping us get the word out and uh, appreciate the opportunity to be on your show. And thanks for all you do. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for Morning Moments. And if you would, keep on coming back for some more Morning Moments.